Hello, my name is Tori Smith, and for my final project, for my male Olympian, I chose Andre Ward, and for my female Olympian, I chose Alice Coachman. Both of these Olympians competed for uh, Team USA, just in different sports and different time periods. Um, to begin, I will talk about my male Olympian, Andre Ward. He was raised in a rough neighborhood in Oakland, California, but he was born into uh, the boxing a boxing family. His father, Frank Ward, was a professional boxer, which got Andre started in the boxing at a very young age. Um, growing up in rough surroundings in the neighborhood that Andre grew up in, he used boxing as a way to stay focused and to stay disciplined and to keep his dreams in track and in his mind always. He competed um, in the Super Six World Boxing Classic, which is a prestigious tournament that uh, features top super middleweights. In this tournament, he competed against opponents such as Mikel Kessler and Carl Frotch. And he ended up winning and um, then he went on to compete for Team USA um, and he was not an Olympian that went to a lot of Olympics um, he didn't give himself the chance to win a lot of gold medals because he only competed in one Olympics and that was the 2004 Olympics in Athens and here he did win a gold medal in the boxing light heavyweight division and he showcased his skill his technique and his determination in the ring um his victory at the olympics marked a significant milestone for his boxing career because he went on afterwards to compete in the professionals and he gained a lot of success in the professional league um his gold medal marked him as a rising star in the sport of boxing and it set the stage for his transition from the Olympics to the professional ranks. And I picked him because when I was um, researching male Olympians, I wanted to research somebody that had competed in my lifetime that I didn't know anything about. I also wanted to find somebody that had competed in a sport that I wasn't very familiar with. I didn't realize that boxing held, um, you know, such a historical impact in the Olympics itself. And I also didn't realize how far the sport has come. And I felt like Andre's story from growing up in a rough neighborhood and using that as motivation was very empowering and uh, such an inspiration. So, that is why I chose him as my male Olympian. Um, my female Olympian is Alice Coachman. And like I said before, very different time periods. Um, she was born in 1923 in Albany, Georgia. And she competed um, in the 1948 Olympics in London. But she excelled in high school track and field which got her into the Tuskegee Institute where she competed there. Um, she made history at the 1948 Olympics because she became the first African-American woman to win a gold medal. And that is one of the reasons why I picked her, but I will get more into that. Um, she competed at the in the high jump event and she won a gold medal with a jump of 1.68 meters which is five feet six and one eighth inches tall which is taller than me and um, her victory not only made her the first african-american woman to win an olympic gold medal but she also set the record for olympic and american record in high jump which I thought was such an accomplishment. Her achievement was significant to not only her personal success, but um, her win will remain in Olympic history forever. I chose her because um, I, when I was researching for female Olympians, I was really looking for somebody 
that made a historical impact, which she clearly did. I also wanted to research more about somebody who symbolized perseverance and excellence in itself, and again, she checked the box. I wasn't necessarily focused on a certain time period or a certain sport in itself or somebody that was <clears throat> well known to me again like I did for Andre Ward I wanted to find a female that I didn't know a lot about but I think that I picked the perfect one for um, the female Olympians because she not only made history but she broke down racial barriers and she paved the way for um, not only African American women, but I would say women in sports in general, because being the first to do something is very impactful, and um, I just felt like she would be the perfect candidate for that, and so I felt as if both my male and female athletes or Olympians that I chose, um, yes, they both competed for USA, but they and they also. Um, held great impact and have powerful stories, but I felt that they both um, co contributed to the Olympics in general.